once you get a machine working, you've got to make a first cut video. But what am I going to make? Something small, something tricky? What do you think it's going to be? So you've made a CNC lathe, what everyone's been waiting for, a first cut video. But what to cut, what to make, no pressure. It's a lathe, right? What's the most complicated thing it can do? It can thread something. At this point, most people do a standard, maybe M10 or half inch thread. You know, it's in your first cut, let's not overdo it. But hey, it's a CNC lathe. We don't make a CNC lathe to do a standard M10 thread, do we? You know, it's human nature to strive for something bigger, something more meaningful, something more than what's gone before, to discover. Magellan didn't discover Australia through gross navigational error. No, he was, he was searching. He was out there looking for Atlantis, I guess. Think of Sputnik. Sputnik didn't go into the, into the skies just to go beep, beep, beep. It was to go beep beep for all of humanity's um, dreams, hopes, wishes, I guess. So it's important that when you solve humanity's problems, you address it in a holistic way. We want something that addresses everybody's human condition. Not just some locality, not just some creed, not just some people, but all people. So let's try and bring everybody on board. I think we'll start with some, some imperial stock because I'm sure I can find something there. Let's do a standard, I know, 23 57ths of an inch diameter. Well, I guess we could make it 11 sevenths of a chi long. I'm going to have to cut some sort of a thread because it is a, a CNC lathe video. So let's look at maybe... Let's try and keep things generic and universal shall we so how about we go for a pitch of yeah we, we really should once again bring on board the the people who think in per inch or threads per so let's try pi threads per centimeter and let's make it a three start thread shall we we of course have a taper angle here how about we go for maybe 23 nineteenths of Euler's number as our taper angle well, that's all very well, but let's quickly model it and make sure it's sort of made work, huh? We make a bar, then taper it, run a helix down the taper, make a little sort of triangle shape. You can hardly see it, but it's just there. And then sweep that little triangle shape along our bar to simulate the thread. I only bothered simulating one of the three starts. That should work fine. Next thing, we need some G-code because that's what the lathe needs to be ordered around with. So here I've written a program which uh, cuts that thread. I just need to enter the constants into it and then we can try it out. So one chi is a Korean inch. They're 30.03 millimeters. Euler's number is a 2.71828. And pi, everyone knows, that's 3.24. Six five eight. I bought this dinky little OXA quick change tool post holder from Banggood. Now I just need to mount it somehow. Look how cute this little thing is, huh? It's just like a little baby. Seems quite well made. All the surfaces have been nicely finished and ground, so yeah, I've been very happy with the, the phase two. Well, I won't be using that tool post holder anymore. I used this riser block on a previous version of the slate, so let's see if we can make that work. Okay, for this to work, I'll have to raise it up beyond the level of its um, dovetail, I think. So if that goes underneath, there's a spacer though. Yeah, that should work. Might be a little bit too high, but for a first attempt, so I just need to drill out that riser. I'll have to make a proper riser block for it, but for now, this will get me started.
if metric and unified threads are 60 degrees and Whitworth is 55 degrees, what well, we need something in between. So this is ground for a 57 and a half degree angle to make sure we cover all bases. I'll just pack it up as high as possible so that we can get the tool down in the dovetail as far as possible. To check the centre height, I'll just mount this pointy bit of steel in here. That'll work. Because the original chuck key was too short to clear the enclosure, I extended it. Guess I'd better finish soon, I'm starting to run out of room on the leaderboard. Now let's prepare our stock. So next up I need to touch off. So good diameter, I'm gonna just call it 20. So here goes, let's finally make this. Wow, it actually worked. Who would have thought? Now you're probably wondering, why did we need such a universal thread? Well, you know, when you're solving universal problems, you really want a universal solution. You guessed it. It's a carrot holder. Now you'll never ever have to worry about your carrot falling over ever again. Thanks for watching.